Mole's half leaf experiment. Oh, wow. Let's see. Half leaf experiment. It's interesting. First, first, what the person hypothesis hypothesized is that carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis. Okay. So before this, here, Theodore's experiment, we had some conclusion about okay, fine, carbon dioxide is necessary. Water is necessary. We had already proved. Now, half leaf experiment. Let's see if it is giving furthermore informations about if carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis. Fine. Great. Let's see. Well, uh, a plant was taken. It was kept in the dark room. You see, I've kept the plant in the dark room. In fact, you know what? Because these are time consuming experiment. I told you at the starting point, I cannot perform it here right in front of you. I was, I was so willing that I could have done this. I could have spent more time with you and actually done this experiment along with you. But unfortunately, we don't have the time. You know what? But I would say, if you're really getting motivated with these chapters, these concepts, right? These ideas, try this out. It's really exciting. When I perform the experiments, you see how excited I become, right? You should also try that out. Okay? Well, so this plant was kept in dark room for two to three days, you know? Two to three days, the plant was kept in a dark room. Why? The idea was, if it is in dark, under, kept under dark, right? Kept away from light, then the starch which is there, which is the stored molecule, will be utilized. Fine? Because no more new sugar cannot be produced and it will be utilized. The stored sugar will be utilized, correct? Yes or no? Fine? So now what was done? We need something which is KOH, which is potassium hydroxide. Well, first let me show you what was done and I'll explain it to you once again. Just observe what is happening. Well, let's see. Take some time. Don't worry. Look into what's happening. Let me also observe what's happening. Fine. Great. I'll explain it. Don't worry. Wow. Okay. Sunlight, sunlight is coming. Okay. Fine. Then. And let's see what happens. Okay. It's, it's a dipped under something. Inside something. It's taken out. Only half turns blue black in iodine. Wow. Okay. Okay. Fine. I, I got some idea. Uh, so did you get some idea about this? What was the idea or objective behind this experiment? No worries. Let's see once more. So first, what would you require? You require, uh, of course, iodine. You require a leaf. What we are doing is half leaf experiment. You require KOH, which is potassium hydroxide. Can any one of you tell me what would be the function of potassium hydroxide over here? And first of all, what we are proving? What, what? Come on, tell me. Carbon dioxide is necessary. If I'm using potassium hydroxide, chemistry lovers, come on. Tell me. Yes, chemistry lovers, KOH. What would be the function of KOH in relation to carbon dioxide? Come on, tell me. Yes. Will I tell you the answer? KOH, potassium hydroxide, can absorb carbon dioxide. KOH can absorb carbon dioxide. Fine. So you got the objective. Now let's see what has happened. What did we do here? Well, come on, let's play. See, KOH absorbs carbon dioxide. So in the glass jar, if we have KOH, that means carbon dioxide concentration will go down. Right? So half of the leaf has been put inside and it's, see, it's, a, it's put within the slit of the cork, right? So no gaseous exchange can happen. It's put under sunlight for some time, some days in fact, and then that leaf is plucked and iodine test was done. See the result. Wow. What do you understand? Only half of it, this portion, yes, is not giving the blue black color that means starch is not there yes or no it's a starch test yes so this is not giving blue black color that means starch is not here starch has is not synthesized over here but here it is giving a blue black color starch has been synthesized now trace back trace back this portion come on rub it rub it rub it rub it clear this portion was put inside the glass jar which had koh potassium hydroxide which absorbs carbon dioxide that means inside the glass jar there is no carbon dioxide 
here yes and it was uh, so it was like stopped by a stopcock so that there's no gaseous exchange from outside to inside correct fine well then this whole setup was exposed to sunlight so normal photosynthesis was happening and it resulted that this is the portion which was not within the glass jar that means this is the portion which was getting proper carbon dioxide showed the presence of starch this is the portion which did not show the presence of starch because carbon dioxide was not available over there clear so does this prove that carbon dioxide is essential for photosynthesis so moles half live experiment yes here you saw the presence of starch and here no starch so what's the conclusion come on give me the conclusion carbon dioxide is essential for photosynthesis yes 